Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I will invite you to join my channel uh, with subscribing me so that uh, you can see more of this kind of uh, videos. So from this video, we are going to discuss about how to build a Q&A system that supports multiple uh, file types. So basically here we can upload multiple file types such as PDF files, text files, Word documents, and also uh website urls uh, like multiple sources and then it will be utilized the same uh, common vector data db uh, space so uh, not limited to these file types you can add uh, any other file types as well which can be utilized as documents and uh, we can do q a on uh, on top of them so let's move to the code All right, so this is the code base of our uh, Q&A application. So the first task is to install the li required libraries. So basically here we are installing libraries that we need to convert the URLs into PDF files. So the VEC print uh, library and other supporting stuff. And then we need to install the unstructured library and some utilities such as PDF to image and pillow because uh, we need to extract the text from the images in our uh, documents and these uh, popular utils tick token and also the ocr libraries so these are the libraries and also the open ai lang chain chroma db definitely we need to install so these are the libraries basically that we need to install and this will take a little bit of time uh, and also after installing these libraries, uh, make sure to restart the runtime so that these libraries to uh, make it uh, effective. Right. Uh, after installing the libraries, uh, next we need to import these libraries. So I'm uh, importing all of these libraries. So some of the libraries are supportive libraries that are not required to be imported uh, in particularly, but they need to be included in your runtime in order to run. And Next, we need to import uh, the various chains, vector stores, uh, splitters, and document loaders from the LAN chain. And next here, we can give our uh, open AI API key. And then here we have uh, some utilities. So basically this one is to construct a PDF given a URL uh, website, basically a website. So regarding that also we need a video. So you can refer to that. Uh, if you need more details of that. So basically that function would be a utility function for us. And again, we need uh, this function. So basically uh, what this function does is uh, it will take a directory as input and then it will go through all the files of that directory and then convert these uh, files into uh, vectors and it will store these in uh, the vector uh, database uh, space. So basically here we are providing the directory where all our files are being uh, stored. And then uh, again, we are creating another utility function to upload and save all the different types of files to a single location in our Google Drive. So let's, uh, we will talk about it uh, within a minute. So basically given a directory here, it will uh, use the LangChain's directory loader and then uh, it will utilize the unstructured file loader and uh, load all these documents uh, to the lang chain uh, directory loader. And afterwards, uh, here also we are printing how many documents are there. And then we can use the character splitters and uh, build, uh, and also we can create this embedding extractor uh, with the uh, open AI. Uh, and then we can set up this uh, chroma db instance uh, as similar to the other previous videos. Then afterwards, I am uh, utilizing the retrieval QA with the sources chain so that we can ensure the answers are coming from the correct uh, sources. All right, so ultimately this will emit the model file so that we can use this model in our QA processes. So that is the main uh, utility function we have. And next I'm creating a directory called documents so that uh, this is where we are going to save the uploading uh, various files. All right, so the first, uh, we are using this utility, uh, create PDFs that we previously discussed. 
So here basically we can give any website URL and then uh, this URL will be converted into a PDF and then it will be saved in our uh, preferred uh, file location. So uh, let me run this. So we have uh, installed these libraries and then we can import it, these libraries, and then uh, we can set the open AI, uh, API key and the utility functions and this function as well. And we, we need to also create this uh, documents uh, folder. I will run this. So after running this, uh, this should ultimately create this documents folder uh, in your Google Drive. All right, so here I have already uh, created documents folder. I will delete it for now. All right, so I have deleted the uh, documents uh, folder, which I have already uh, ran this cell. That's why I have it in my Google Drive. So uh, when you are initially running this script, there will not be any folder called uh, documents. So you can simply run this code and it will create uh, the folder or directory called uh, documents. So if you refresh your Google Drive from here, you can see a new directory has been created. All right. So next we are going to add various types of files to our documents folder that we created. So first let's add uh, URLs. So, uh, so with the URLs, basically it will use this create PDFs uh, utility function previously we defined. So this one again takes the URL as well as the output directory. So this directory is same as the documents. So we, if we give any URL here, so this web page will be converted into a PDF and then it will be stored in this documents uh, directory. So let's run this. So here I'm giving the Wikipedia page of Australia. So if you're running this, it will basically uh, extract all the text from this uh, website, the Wikipedia website, and it will store it in the documents uh, directory. All right, so now the uh, that process is completed. It took like 25 seconds to complete. And now if you expand these documents uh, folder in your Google Drive, you can see uh, the our web page is there. So here I am extracting the domain and I'm removing the uh, punctuation marks uh, within and then I'm saving it with the, uh, the text of the uh, website domain. So that's how we got uh, the in Wikipedia uh, org. So that's the name. So you can change the how uh, the name naming convention uh, from here. So I'm extracting the domain and I'm replacing the punctuations and then I'm uh, saving it with the uh, website link. All right. So that's how we get this uh, Wikipedia page here as a document as a PDF. Right, so that's how we can add various URLs to our vector store. So here you can change and uh, give any URL and then it will be converted into PDF and it will be stored in your documents folder. And next from this function, uh, this is the uh, Google Collab Files function, we can upload various uh, documents to our uh, vector DB. So here uh, for the demonstration, I will upload uh, different types of the documents. So and the one limitation with this uh, method call is uh, it is only uh, supporting a single file uh, to be uploaded at a given time. So we can use a for loop uh, if, we, if we do know how many uh, files are there. Otherwise, we can simply run uh, this cell uh, to uh, any number of times to uh, upload all the documents we require. So I will run this. All right, so here it gives two buttons. So here I can click on the choose files. And then from that, uh, I will go to the place where I have uh, my documents. And here I have uh, four types of documents, uh, Word file and uh, Excel uh, sheet and uh, sorry, CSV file and a text file and the uh, PDF file. 
So this contain information about India, uh, Wikipedia, I, I, I have taken it from the Wikipedia article, and then the UK is about United Kingdom and USA about uh, USA. So there is, uh, these are different files. So let's upload this to our web desktop. So I will go first with the uh, Word document, uh, which has information about India. So I will click it and click on the open. So with this, it will upload the document and it will be saved in the our documents folder. So if you, yeah, you refresh this uh, from here, you can see uh, the doc, uh, doc X file is also uploaded. So let's go ahead and upload the other files as well. Yeah, run it again. Yeah, we'll go ahead with the word file. Next, I will go ahead with this uh, Excel sheet. Uh, sorry, CSV file. Right, so this contain uh, some details, uh, a table which contains sales information. Already have uploaded that as well. Uh, I will run it again to upload the other two files. The UK, this is a text file. All right, and again, we have a PDF file as well, information regarding uh, USA. All right, so now we have four types of files here, uh, actually five types. The first one is the website that we have given, the URL, and we have it as a PDF file. And then we have the PDF file regarding USA and text file regarding UK and uh, docx regarding India. And then we have a table contains a sales information as a, a CSV file. All right, so these files basically contain uh, text uh, text data. Uh, I'm taking it from the Wikipedia and uh, also I created some descriptions using ChatGPT. So if I'm showing you the uh, CSV file, it looks uh, something like this. So it contains like various columns and it contains basically a sales information, various products and amount, and then the customer names, uh, etc. So let's experiment with these files now. I will close this. Okay, uh, so now we have uploaded all the files that we have required, uh, which belongs to different types as well. And now everything is in the, our documents uh, uh, folder. All right. Next, we can uh, run this uh, function wet price and build a uh, model. So basically with this, it will take all these files and go through all the types of files and it will uh, wet price them and store in a single uh, chroma vector DB. So we can run this uh, method to create the uh, file. So I have already done that. So I will not uh, run this, running this uh, cell again. So after constructing the model, simply next we can do Q and A. So the first time I'm asking, uh, list down key points about Australia. So I know this uh, file, has, uh, the Aust information about Australia is included in the URL, that Wikipedia website. So here it gives the answer and also it correctly refers the which source it came from. So this is the website we extracted and converted into the PDF. So it gives the correct answer from the PDF file. And next here I'm asking, give to a small description about UK, so which is a text file. So here again, it gives the correct answer and correctly refer to the document source. And next I'm asking, what is the population of India? And there it gives the correct answer as well as it has referred to the correct document, which is a docx file and also, in the final uh, question, I'm asking what is the sales amount of a laptop? And again, it gives the correct uh, answer. And it taken this information from the CSV. All right, so that's it from this video. So basically from this video, we discuss how we can use multiple types of files in a same uh, vector DB space and do Q&A on top of that. So here again, I have set the, uh, in the red preview, I have set the K into one, uh, which means uh, the, all the documents that I had uh, contain uh, separate types of information. They are not related to each other. That's why I uh, use K as one, which means to use only single source document when giving answers. 
So if you are using uh, this QA system in a single team, which contain data from multiple file types, but talking about the same thing, uh, make sure to increase this K value so that it will use various CSV files, PDFs, documents, text files, etc., as well as websites. And it will use mul multiple, uh, several, several such documents, uh, several such files, and combinedly will uh, populate the answer. So, all right, so that's it from this video, and thank you for watching. And I'm inviting you to subscribe my channel and uh, like and share these videos with your colleagues. So, thank you so much, and see you from another video.